First bigger print using the super strong magnets. Reveal. It worked! Yes! So this is uh, the super strong, um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, super strong, like, uh, how big are they? They are like one inch by half an inch by a quarter of an inch. And I have, let's see, I have 12 of them um, around the print bed. And let's see. Yeah, it's it holds on to this like <laughs> ridiculously strong or ridiculously well. So I feel like I could probably, oh, there we go. It came up. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Okay. And there it came off a little bit. Came off a little bit more. There it goes. So yeah, this is a filament spool holder, spool holder, and it clips onto the back of a MK3. Uh, cool. Version B3, B3. Uh, let's see, I printed this for my girlfriend's MK3, and we are in the middle of building it, and uh, it seemed like we, we didn't find one of these in the kit. We also didn't find a three millimeter uh, nylon for 30 centimeters long. Um, we had the 50 centimeters, but not the 30 centimeters. At least I think it looks like the longer one. Oh, you can actually very well see the front too. I placed the magnets here in between the sensor points. So there's a sensor point. There's a sensor point. This is so there, there and there. Yeah. And then this is about midway in between. So I put it right there at the edge. Same there. There's a sensor there. Uh, uh, sensor. What do I mean by that? A point where the inducted sensor can detect the bed. And I'm not sure where the other one is. It's around here. But anyway, there's another magnet in the middle. Um, these magnets are actually just a little too thick. So they get sandwiched between the uh, carriage and the bed. Um, they are a quarter of an inch. And the, the distance here is six millimeter. And six millimeter is like... 0.26 something uh, inches, so just a little over, uh, just a little over an inch, uh, or a quarter of an inch thick. But yeah, I'm super happy with this. So this was printed with uh, uh, PET, PETG, and so it was printed on um, on that on this this surface, but it was printed uh, with a high temperature. And the magnets seem to have held up, and the surface finish here is really nice and gloss. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, uh, what do you call that? Like, not glossy, uh, the opposite of glossy, like sandblast surface. Smoky? Smoky, because this is a little bit smoky. Cool. Um, anything else important about this? Oh, uh, <laughs> when I... So these these are held these were held to the the bed with uh, not with a thicker silicone tape um, but with uh, where is it? Um, with double stick tape. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, here's so here's the thicker silicone tape. Oh, and there's the double stick scotch tape. So I use this and not this. Um, also. After I got the magnets on there and I was trying to place the bed back onto the carriage, um, the uh, the magnets were attracted to the... Let's see if I can see a couple. I don't think I can. Nah. So there's some nuts, some bolt heads in there. Especially this magnet right here. Let's see, right there was attracted to the bolt right there. Uh, and they were also attracted to the rods. Um, so be careful of that. You don't want to scratch up your rods. Uh, and in the future, make sure. Uh, so, oh yeah, so one more thing, which it, uh, is, so even though the magnets hold this down like super duper well. Um, over in the corner, uh, over in the corner over here, it still lifts up just a tiny little bit. And 
I think I could use more magnets that were less strong to get this to hold down. Uh, and then I would be able to place them closer to where the, uh, the sensors are. Actually, I guess I don't know how close I can place the current magnets I have to the sensors. Um, the inductive sensor gets tripped by the magnets. Oh yeah, also the magnets are brittle. So this one broke in half. Um, I lost... <laughs> I did basically that. Except, oh man, great. Well, yeah, so be careful with magnets, especially these magnets. They they will pull each other from like, I don't know, however far that is, like six inches apart. And they'll, they'll get sucked right out of your right out of your grip. So when you're holding on to them, hold on to them tight. I hope that's not too hard to remove. Um, and they break because they are brittle. Okay, I think that's it. What else? Uh, nope, can't think of anything else. One more thing. So it's really handy to have um, this spatula thing to uh, scrape the magnets apart from each other. They, When they were shipped, they had these little plastic things in between them. So that's really convenient. Um, I'm going to use this to scrape the magnet that just went under there. <laughs> Jeez, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get more of them stuck. You better, you better keep these separated. Anyway, I'm going to use that spatula thing to scrape that magnet. Um, this one is a, I think it's a build tech uh, spatula. I'll put a link in the description so I can remember in the future. Anyway, that was one more thing.